Watch Dr. Drew's new show at 9 on HLN. Weeknights on HLN. This season has been a tumultuous uh, ride on the cast of the cast of Be Real Lives of Be Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. There's been sibling rivalry, controversy, cat fights, rehab, divorce, and and a, and a death. Right? That's on this season. All right, and we're just getting started here. Watch this. Wash the finger. I will not. After all the things and all the things. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? At least I don't do crystal meth in the bathroom all night long. You know what? Brandy, let me tell you no. something. What? You do not away. You do not want to talk to me like really? that. Yeah, you do not want to go there. Go with my kids. My sister, don't ever talk about her like that again. You say Do not put your finger in my oh, face. You're gonna get my Finger in your face too. Really? Right. Okay, okay. Don't really? You threaten me. Listen, listen. listen. Really? No, no, no. Really? no, no. Stop it. Enough. You're a pig. Joining me right now is one of the stars of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and author of a new book, Life is Not a Reality Show. Here it is right here. I'm going to hold it up. Kyle Richards. There it is on a full screen. Kyle, when people look at that footage, okay, they, they want to believe that that's somehow not real. That's what I want to believe too. What okay. a coincidence! Okay, <laughs> and 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 I think try to pull the curtain back for me a little bit about a reality show. The, the producers sort of set things up in a way where things can become volatile. It's certainly not scripted, right? It is not scripted at all. Do they do they stir you guys up in any way? Do they pull you aside? Go, God, you never believe what you know Russell said about you, and then no. get you. So there's none of that. They actually, no. It and, has and, not happened with me ever. I can okay. speak. And they set up circumstances where there's likely to be conflict? Or is that just... Well, they may say, you know, would you girls like, you know, go to lunch and to discuss what happened last night? That kind of a thing. Okay. But they don't whisper in my ear or try to get us worked up at all or anything like that. Okay. So it's what you're seeing, when people watch those fights, they think, oh, that can't be real. I know. I know. I get that comment. A lot of people assume it's scripted. But it's really not, I have to say. And as many times I'd love to blame it on a script, believe me, but it's all very real. The other thing I want to talk to you about is what my wife and I have a little sort of, something we've noticed about reality shows, and it's why we will not allow cameras in our house, is that every time a reality show comes into the household of a married couple, almost every time, except, except Ozzy and Sharon, that's the only, the only exception I can think of, eventually, or as a result of, it seems, the marriages don't seem to survive. Have you seen that as well? I've seen that a lot, but I, for me personally, I never would have done a show like this if I didn't feel I had a solid marriage to begin with. And I can say that it's definitely not hurt my marriage in any way. There's many times my husband is my only source of support, and he's very good about letting things roll off his shoulder with the show and stuff. So thank God I have him. So this has been cool for your family. You have three kids, right? Four, four kids, kids, four daughters. And, and they've been okay with all this? Hasn't affected but, them negatively? No, not at all. You know, they don't care about the show. They don't care about being filmed on it. They're not impressed by it at all, which I love that about them. So Good. Okay. Not at all. Let's look at another clip. Here are the uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Kyle and Taylor had a little confrontation at Kyle's party. Take a look at this. We have a problem. What? <sighs> No, it isn't wrong. What's wrong? No, I guess, I don't know if you know about the, I guess the email you sent Camille. I guess now her lawyers are saying or whoever that she can't be around you guys and it's like this whole place. I hate people to do this. No, I it's, it's okay. It's okay. The email that was sent out, that was inappropriate. I was very kind to her. I said, please call me. Guess what? So I read the email. It was we not. We all read the email. It was not Everybody. kind. So, so if I understand, Kyle, Russell had said they emailed you something inappropriate at that point. Is that Russell had emailed Camille saying that he was going to take legal action because we had discussed the abuse on camera, domestic violence. Yes. And you now, at the beginning of the season, it seemed like Bravo was taking the position that none of Russell's story would be played out on television, and yet every time, every every episode he's there he is no he actually didn't come in till I think the sixth or seventh episode right. so okay but there's been a lot of him when they there's, originally said there was mm -hmm. gonna be none of him Do you, does that bother you at all um, well they went back and forth originally they had toyed with not airing the show at all mm -hmm. to completely editing him out um, and then to just minimally so um, does it, it's very disturbing to watch at times no well, doubt I, I, you've, it's funny just bringing him up your your whole affect has changed so I want to talk to you more about that it's it's, it's, it's very uh, unpleasant topic 
It is. It's uh, unsettling at times to watch him, but it is a part of her story, a part of what was going on in all of our lives, and I think it was also important. There's a lot of people who have dealt with suicide and domestic abuse, so I think it was in some ways important to address it. I, I, I'm always in favor of that uh, in terms of showing how it should be treated and dealing with it head on. Is there, did something get missed? Did the ball get dropped somewhere for poor Russell? Or was this just inevitable? This had nothing to do with the show? Oh, his problems? No, this has nothing to do with the show. He was in deep, deep financial stress and everyone was coming after him from every direction. And that was, that part was. He owed a lot of people a lot of money. But that part wasn't on the show. No, so, because so the reality, they were portraying that he, they had more than they did. But, but isn't that, isn't that a piece that, that if the show were being, I, again, I, we didn't I, know that. They, we all well, thought that. That's the producers my, thought that. Thought they had money or thought they didn't have money? Well, that's how before the show, that's how they this were presenting themselves should, to society. The, wouldn't the real story have been, hey, let's look at people that are upside down and the stress of that and the consequences of that? And wouldn't that have been a better story to le really learn something from? And how, how desperate people, to talk about desperate housewives, how bad it can become? Yes, but they weren't being honest about that. We didn't really know the full scope of that until after he took his life. And, and I can see in you that this really, it hurt. It, 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 well, it's very sad, and Taylor's a friend of mine, and they have a small child, and it's very sad. Yeah. So. It's, it's, is yeah. there a message we have to, to the fans of the show? I think that the message really is that no matter where you live, what kind of car you drive, that, you know, we all have problems. And this is not just a frivolous reality show. These are real problems that people really deal with in real life all over the world. Those being... Domestic violence, okay. suicide, financial problems. Do you think that the viewers make the housewives, that they want to see the housewives fall? It makes them feel good to see people that have a lot of money take a fall? Take a, take I a think fall? a part of that, yes. It's I've kind of, seen that, that with some of the shows. But also, they also like to s escape and see, you know, living in the lap of luxury, so to speak. But I think that, you know, some of this has been too real, some of our problems. Do people on the get show. resentful for you in a time of such stressful economy, you know, sort of showing your wealth like that? Does that bother some people? You know, my, the people who um, gravitate towards me on the show, no, because they really see me more talking about my family and my husband. And so it doesn't have, matter. No, the wealth no doesn't with matter. me, no. I don't really think so. Not with All right, me. The remaining minutes here, tell me about the book. I started the idea of writing the book because so many people were asking me on Twitter, like, how do you have a marriage like that? I want to have a marriage like that. And I grew up in a family of all women, all girls. So I had the best education imaginable for, you know, how to get the right man, how to keep the right man, because I was the youngest of all these girls. So I think a lot of women have lost hope and think that they can't have a great marriage. But, you know, if you look, care about your spouse, you can have an amazing marriage, but the girls are doing the wrong thing. These women thinking, you know, oh, I got the job, that's it now. So they're just playing their cards right, and you still have to keep playing those cards even after you're married. With your partner. Yeah, you Tell do. Tell me about ambition versus opportunism. Ambition versus that's a whole That's a whole profile you have okay, here. Okay, but yeah, but I'm my, no, but I'm going to talk about my marriage right now. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Well, I thought that was all part of it. I mean... Well, I do talk a lot about that stuff, too, but I talk mainly about my relationship with my husband and really that giving women hope again to have an amazing relationship with their husband. And I also talk about beauty and fashion and all that stuff because that's part of, you know, it's how to empower women. I your think. But you're talking about empowering women. That's Absolutely. why I bring up. I'm a mom of four daughters. I want to empower women. Right. How are your Absolutely. kids? And your kids, are they in college now? Are they going on? I have one that's three years old all the way to 23 already graduated college. Wow. That's quite so, a spread. Yes. I'm a professional mom. Right, I, I, I mean, get. at this point, I think I'm a professional. Listen, I, I, really, I appreciate you coming in here and being honest, being straightforward, and letting me grill you a little bit. And uh, best with the book. The book is called Kyle Richards' Life is Not a Reality Show. And, and I know pe people are huge fans of the show. I got kind of sucked into it here. I don't think it was the last time you were here. Somebody else was here. Was it you? I think it was me. And, and you t we did something in the hall here. I forgot, and, but and, I, I uh, was No, it wasn't Kyle. They were saying no. There's, it was another, another oh, member okay. of the... It was Lisa, Lisa was oh, here. Lisa, yes. She pulled me out and, and said, I need something for my internet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That and was then Lisa. it showed up on the show. I was like, oh, this is awesome. Oh, so, that's right, yes. You did make an appearance on our I show. I did make an appearance on your that's show, right. and, and much to my amazement. Uh, <laughs> I did not understand that was going to happen. Next but, thing so, you know, you're going to be the seventh house. I'll, be, I'll bring my wife and I, and that'll be the end of our marriage. Because we, not because of Beverly Hills Housewives, but because we, we predict that of reality show camera. Well, you can read my book. I'll read your, I'll read your book. <laughs> and and to, you know, to, to be, you know, I, I'm not taking aim at reality shows here. Because my experience on reality shows, having done Celebrity Rehab and, and Teen Mom, then 16 and Pregnant, is that this, this is documenting reality. There's a little bit of jockeying and waiting and setting cameras up, but then reality goes. And reality is whatever they document in those. In my opinion, these are at their best when they show 
treatment, and then I wish there had been more treatment for Russell. And, and well, uh, they did try to cover some of you know Taylor and Russell's problems and going to it, therapy it, and all that. But it's but a very complicated problems they had, and I wish there, I just wish there been more of that. That's all yes. I'm saying. And I, I, they didn't expect the, the outcome they did, so I understand that. So, but thank you much, Kyle.